back to my channel, News for Kids. But before I start my episode, I hope you enjoyed our last episode, Diwali special. And I also hope that some of you must have tried to implement few of our tips on celebrating Diwali, especially in 2020, the News for Kids way. If yes, then do let us know in the comment section down below. So let's begin our today's episode and it is about tips for learning new technology. Or anything new for that matter? Oh yes, I totally forgot. Today, I'm going to introduce you to my new guest and new partner, Mausita. Yay! Hello viewers and subscribers, welcome to my first show and hopefully many more to come, right Pia? <laughs> We will see about that, Mausita. Moving on. Yes, please be my guest. <clears throat> be your guest? Okay, whatever. Tip number one. Have an open mind. Aha, do you mean like this? No, Mausita. And will you allow me to continue with the episode? And may I also please have your full and undivided attention? Okay. So, dear viewers and subscribers, let me ask you this. Can you ever reach out to anyone with folded arms? Eh? What? Wait. How is it even possible? Of course it's not possible. Hence, one must have an open mind. So focus on your thought process. Like, change your thinking. I like to call this, moving from nowhere. Do not yet thinking. Instead of telling yourself why you can't do it, tell yourself, maybe I might not be able to do it yet, but I'm willing to pay the price. Do you, do you mean like taking special courses, hiring professionals, read books, watch education videos, and do whatever is necessary to learn new skills that will help you? <laughs> Brilliant, Mausita. Okay. Moving on to our next point. Get help from the best. Yes, exactly the reason why Pia has invited me to help her with this episode. <laughs> oh, come on, Mausita. But remember, you don't have to do it on your own. Because today, we have access to the best brain power. Through books, audio and video recordings. And life coaching? But... Be willing to part with your TME, which means time, money, energy, to get what you need. Find the people who know what you need to know. With your elders' help, you can even hire professional help and avail their services. And two, our tip is learn from the best, who make it easier to understand and make the most of it. Even if you hire their services, yes. You can connect with them using various methods or online tools. Use tools like Skype, Google Plus, Hangouts, saturate your mind with books, magazines and quality learning. God damn it, who has put such heavy and technical words on the first day of my shoot? <clears throat> we are live but with the show, but you are right, Mausita. Yes, you can use various tools. Like Mausita mentioned. Tip number three. Be willing to give up activities that don't help you. Now this is a tough one, okay? Bring it on, Pia. I think I can handle this. You sure, Mausita? Because it is so deceptively easy to be drawn to a dramatic story on the news. Right? So turn off that radio or unplug your TV. Wait, what? Why? Unplug the TV? It's my favorite pastime by eating cheese every night. But, didn't you say bring it on? You can handle it? Masita, what happened? <laughs> I will be careful next time before I speak. Well, the reason why I say so is because one will have to fill that wasted time with learning from great sources. For example, learn one new technology which will help you in long term or maybe some art or new skill set. Tip number four. 
focus. You mean like focus, focus? You've got to have focus to achieve mastery. You could try to trick yourself into believing. You can, but it needs immense attention. So, shut off your social media, let your phone calls go to voicemail, and pour yourself into the task at hand. This is part of paying the price, and it is worth it. This is going to be very tough for me and for many of you, but I think we all should give it a shot. Yes, you all should, because one cannot master anything until they give full attention to the task they wish to learn. Tip number five, practice. Yeah, wait. I want to add one thing here. My great grandmother used to say an old Russian saying, "Repetition is the mother of learning." You are right, Marcita. But that of <laughs> you are right, Mausita. But that applies to us even today. You have to practice the right way. Like one famous Japanese martial art expert said once, in order to master the act, one must practice it in this manner. Do it 1,000 times till it becomes natural. Then do it another 1,000 times. Oh no wonder I'm so good at stealing and eating cheese. I've done that 1,000 times and I can do it forever till I master the act. What can I say, Mausita? Tip number 6. Play with YouTube. Ha! That's my favorite person. I only love what you are about to say. <laughs> YouTube has to be one of the greatest how to learn tools we've seen in the past 50 years. Be willing to wade through some of the junk videos to find the gems. Pay the price and spend time to learn through this rich reservoir of resources. You are so damn right. But the flip side to this knowledge is, there are videos on YouTube of how can you fool a mouse and trap them with cheese, which is so not right. You can please remove those videos. I don't like them. Tip number seven. Have fun with emotion. And emotion as in like the little thing, the action of immersing someone or something in a liquid. No, Mausita. I meant, like for example, Actualmente estudiano español. Actualmente estudiano español. Which means, I'm currently studying Spanish. I find that the more I experience words and phrases from books or apps on my iPhone, or even watching Spanish videos, the better I do. And you find multiple ways to saturate your mind with the topic you want to learn and this will politely say facilitate your learning and speed up the process too. Who wrote such digital lines for me? Do you think I am a human? Gosh! Tip number 8. Don't give up. Oh, I never give up stealing and eating cheese. So this para is not for me. May I leave now? Hang on and listen to this. One must have an aggressive, determined attitude towards learning. Embracing a never say no attitude will motivate you. Oh yes, now I remember my great grandmother saying something similar this person named Frank Sinatra said. He told her, the big lesson in life, baby, is never be scared of anyone or anything. But, Mausita, what is that saying got to do with do not give up? No, it doesn't make any sense. Thanks, since start, I'm again and again asking, who has written my lines today? God, it is so embarrassing. First day, first show, and it's turning out to be like this. Ship number 10. Have fun. Yippee, that I always will and always do. Always remember why you're learning. If it isn't fun, you decrease learning. Keep it fun in productive ways that keep you motivated. Because learning gives you strong competitive advantage today. It also keeps you alive mentally. So go for it. Thank God finally these lines make some sense. And now,
moving on to our fun zone. Today we will show you funny cat videos in honor of our guest, Rosita. That's it for today. Zoom in next time for more fun facts. And do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a thumbs up, share my videos, and comment down below. What are the new fun facts you learned after watching this video? And guys, please, please, we know many of you watch our videos regularly, but do not subscribe. So please subscribe to our channel. It takes only two seconds and see you next time.